All right, man, Mighty Miles UFL on that YouTube. Man, y'all go subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, man. We out here on this Guns Down Gloves Up movement, man. I got my man, Coach Trey Hill, out here. He can give you his channel right now. Hey, you start lifestyles, man. Come check me out, man. We're promoting life, balance, security, fighting, boxing. You know the deal. That's what it is. All right, today, man, we coming at y'all, man. We're doing um, what to expect and what you should do in a street fight. The street fight things, man, seems to get like it's getting a little bit... um popularity on the youtube man so we're gonna start dropping some real gems i just got done grappling tonight man came straight over here we got no rest we out here getting it in man i'm gonna give you some of mine coach trail's gonna give you some of his he can give you some in between mine we're just gonna go back and forth we're gonna ping this thing back and forth man all right so i got i, I wrote down some stuff man because i really i really like put this together man i really thought this thing through on on a couple different levels not just in the streets but in prison as well man you know so i i, I kind of based this around a lot of different you know aspects man so um rule number one is man is the pretty much avoid well, i'm going i'm going from five down all right so i'm going from five down so number five is is basically man avoid the fight if possible man if you can get away from a fight that no matter where point. it's at if you can get away from the fight get away from the fight yeah. you know what i'm saying don't don't risk injuring yourself don't risk hurting another person to where you get locked up for getting malicious yeah. woundings and, yeah. and i've seen this happen man you know this isn't this isn't a fluke i've yeah. seen dudes get five and six years on malicious wounding yeah. for a bar fight yeah. so and let me add to that man those of you guys that's in this situation and you can get out of it there's too many variables involved with it for you to come out a victor you can win and end up in jail and for those of you that's competing and athletically got things to do with your career boxers grapplers ufc fighters all of you guys have registered hands so the consideration for you when it comes to going to court for hurting somebody is much higher the stakes are much higher so avoid right. all that unsanctioned stuff when you can especially right. when it's nothing to prove man right. it's different when you're trying to defend yourself and keep somebody off of you but when you can walk your way out of that situation you got much more than losing that person avoid the situation man and that's why I try, like, man, even with, like, the trolls and stuff, like, dudes be like, hey, come over here to my mom's house and fight me. Uh, come to my aunt's house to fight me. <laughs> Fly over here to this state. Yeah. I'm like, bro, we run events every weekend, yeah. almost all over the country, with all of our dates, times, and locations. Like, we got a ring, we got a cage and everything in there. You sign a waiver, you come in there and get your ass beat officially, man. Yeah. That's exactly what he was just saying, exactly what I was just saying. So let's say I do fly to your aunt's or your grandma's house and I beat your ass yeah. and I get locked the fuck up for yeah. a fucking slaying you yeah. and this non fighter and additional charges you know? for pursuing <laughs> exactly man right? I came to your state to beat you up yeah. and you can come to a, 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 a mutual spot yeah. with a ring and a cage and a ref and security and, and and they're there to save your ass you know what I'm yeah. saying so make yeah. sure that you know make sure that you pretty much you understand that man y'all get the full gist of why mouse doesn't just fly all over the country and just beat motherfuckers up and shit you know too much to lose man. too much to lose man too much to lose man Alright, so here, so um here it is. Here's the five tips, man. If you are in a bar, if you are in the penitentiary even further, uh, is confidence, man. Mm -hmm. If you tuck your tail, if me and you are getting ready to fight, and I see you, and let's say I'm not a fighter, you're not a fighter, but we both have already crossed the line of talking shit, and neither one of us has an opportunity to really back down because of not just egos, but in prison, your surrounding because of other people watching you. You know what I'm saying? You need to make sure that you have that confidence, man. Because if somebody sees you down here tucking your tail and and like, nah, you know, I, any type of passive, any type of um, prey type uh, 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 in you, a predator's gonna smell that shit. And it could be, like I said, it could be in a bar, but I'm taking it even further to say the prison. If a predator smells prey, he smells a weak fish. If a, if, if a great white doesn't want to go after another strong fish that he has to chase and go hard after, you know what I'm saying? A great white wants to go after that wounded fish. He yeah. wants to go after that, that, that lame fish, man, the yeah. easy prey. So hey, yeah, if you are point. easy prey, that's, a good point. that's your ass. Man, someone taught me back in the day, you got wolves and sheep, yep. right? The wolves do not want to fight other wolves. All right, there's too much to lose. I might make myself look bad. I really don't want to work that hard. So when you get a sheep, 
that's brought to your environment, that's the person that's gonna get picked out. So believe in yourself, train yourself until you know what you're capable of, and then go into the situation knowing that you have something up your sleeve yeah. or, or some type of capability that makes you, you are strong or yeah. independent. Because once you show that, that void or that scared or cowardice, you're gonna get picked out of the group like you yeah. stick out. And they're gonna get you, man. Like I said, you know, if you're outside of a bar, a lot of times I've seen, and I've worked security in bars, so I've seen this before, where two dudes are both standing their ground, and neither one of them, one was scared, the other one, and the other one wanted the other one to be scared, but he wasn't scared, and next thing you know, there was never no fight. But as soon as I seen guys, you know, try to tuck their tail, or, or they live off of that fear. They smell that fear, and it makes them even more aggressive, man. So never back down, walk out, chest out, you know what I'm saying, head high. I didn't say chin in the air, I said chest high, you know what I'm saying, head high, and, and, let, and let somebody know that you bought it, man, that you're yeah. not going to just and cower down. don't get down. that message wrong. You can stay humble yep. and still hold your head up high. You don't have to be the loudest one in the room. Yep. Just hold your ground and be sure of yourself. If you should see or your show that I can take over you or do what I want with you, that's when the problem becomes yours. And I like what you just said, don't be the loudest one in the room. We always said this, man, the weak always speak, the quiet always cause riots, man. Yep. The loudest one in the room is usually the weakest one in the room, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know, trolls, you know, stay you know, humble. You know what I mean? You know, the loudest ones, man, are the weakest ones, man. You yeah. know, it's the motherfuckers that's really out here really doing this shit. Yeah. We're making videos every and day. Some of y'all get paid day. to talk, too. Talk. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, number four is, I've said this in another street video, um, is get that first punch off, man. That shit is, that shit is number one. Get that Lord. first punch off, man. If somebody comes inside of your square, get that first punch off because you may not have the opportunity after he hits you to even come back. Next thing you know, you're knocked out. He's stomping you out. We said this in one video, it doesn't take much to get your ass knocked the fuck out. Yeah. So make sure that you get that first punch off. To me, like I said, if we're from here to the car, cool. But as soon as I see you coming at me aggressively, it's on. Like I'm, yeah. I'm coming at you now, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. aiming to hurt you because and I'm not gonna honestly, let you hurt man, me. It's a feeling that you have. You know the situation is about to escalate. Right. You know that you're about to get into that confrontation or the hand-to-hand -hand situation. Yep. Set the tone. Make it to where it's a situation that you control. Yep. You yep. shouldn't be trying to keep your balance. Or you shouldn't be trying to recover from his initial attack. Set that attack off first, especially when you know it's coming. Right. All right, number three, be aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Be aware of where you're at. Be aware mm -hmm. of the people that he has with him. Because when you go outside, you might think that it's just you and him because you started arguing with him inside the bar or inside the cell or whatever. But you didn't know what gang he was in. You didn't know the 10 homies that he had that were sitting over at the other table. Next thing you know, you out in the parking lot and you got 10 dudes getting ready to destroy your ass. If that situation happens, man, all I can tell you to do, and this, 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 this can sound bitch or whatever, but... You stand your ground in those situations, man, you could be very seriously hurt. Oh, yeah. So my my advice to you is you better find out how how fast them shoes are that you got on. Yeah, because if you put yourself in that position and they got ten homies yeah. that are coming after your yeah. ass, you better fuck you better I hope you're in good shape. Yeah. I hope you can run. See when it comes to a street fight, man. There's so many different variables. When it gets to gang situations or prison situations, you got to worry about the whole set, gang, environment, family, etc. right? So don't get into the situation thinking it's a one-on-one -on -one when it's not a one-on-one, -on -one. because usually one-on-ones is rarely fair, right? right? And another situation that you want to look out for is your in your immediate environment yep. chairs curbs Person. you don't want to be slipping over anything you don't want to yep. be falling in over anything trying to get your offense off or trying to set up your defense be mindful of your, of your environment stay safe don't bite off more than you can chew yep. right if you're one man going against an army it's it's, it's going to be bad you know what i mean the the situation going to be very hazardous to you you want to stay out of that situation where you're overwhelmed and adversity is too much that's it number two is man basically we just went over this is that learn how to fight yeah learn how to protect yourself that's number one you, you should you it is kind of man for real because man you would be surprised how much shit that you can avoid 
by the confidence of knowing that you can protect yourself and that you can handle yourself in situations, man. Because it's usually like we said, the weak always speak. It's always the loud one in the room that has all the problems and all the issues, man. If a person's over here confident that it's like, man, I'll beat all these dudes up if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Usually that guy don't have no problems with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So learn how to box. Learn how to do MMA. Learn how to wrestle. Learn how to you know, defend yourself to be able to have that confidence. And if it does ever come down to it, that's how I've been so successful in prison fights and in, in street fights and anything that I did. Um, if you want to call, you know, fighting in the streets a success, you know what I mean? Because, uh, like I said, it don't go on your record. It doesn't. It, it ain't going to do nothing but get your ass locked up part, and get hurt. Change the mindset of, you know? of sanctioned fighting right. versus street fighting, right. right? You don't have to be the best boxer or an established MMA fighter to right. defend yourself. Right. Learn, Learn different techniques man. to get a person off of you. Yep. Most fights last about 30 a minute yeah. and a half. Yep. So you're not going into a sanctioned competition to where everything is so you're not getting, this ain't points, important man. and points that are to, points. to be shown or, or you have to impress the judges or you have to have a flawless uh, yep. performance. But what you want to be able to do is show masculinity, number one. You don't want to cower. Number two, you want to be able to protect yourself and defend yourself from whatever's coming. Right. Withstand the storm is only going to be a 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure you don't bite off more than what you can chew and, and learn some basic fundamentals of self-defense. You know, have some type of pride to where you want to learn these things. And that takes us to number one, like almost right into that, um, right off of that, is basically win by any means. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Win by any means. Because like I said, um, <laughs> your hand's not getting raised as a winner in this. So I don't, so I don't know how to say win or lose or what, but... Be the victor, man. Be the one that's the one that doesn't get hurt. Be the one that doesn't go to yeah. the hospital. Be the one. This, listen, guys. Like I said, if me and you, if me and you are in the, in the cage, and, me, and I'm gonna tie kick you, I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to fight you dirty. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fight you by rules. I'm trying to fight you by points and stuff like that. And I just said it to him. Like, okay, so I'm gonna tie kick you in your, your thigh. I'm gonna tie kick you in, in your arm. A calf kick you. Something like that, man. In the streets. I'm gonna tie kick you right in your fucking dick. I'm trying to take you all the way the fuck out, bro. I'm trying to hurt you and take yeah. you. I'm trying to hey, eliminate you. That being you know said, saying? there's no rules to a street fight. Exactly. Please Win don't sit there means. looking for a referee to jump into the match, blow right. a whistle, toss a flag, and save you by right. any means. Listen, defend yourself for whatever it takes. You know, get the person off you, whatever it takes, and get out of that situation. Yep. Don't let your pride sit there and be like, oh, I'm going to get a fair one from this guy. Yeah. Or I'm going to catch a head up fade with this guy. Because it usually don't end up like that, especially if you're winning and overwhelming that person. All right? So listen, get out of there. Be safe. Make it as short as sweet as possible. And don't sit there expecting to have fair opportunities. Defend yourself by any means, and there's no rules to the street fight situation. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man, that I got on... Uh that I wrote down, there's, there's like I said, there's a never ending amount of stuff that we keep coming up yeah, with and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. man. I but definitely those, wanna add some stuff, Yeah, man. go ahead, add it's, something. From the fighting perspective, man, coming from a boxing perspective, a little bit a difference between street fight and boxing, all right? Especially when it comes to blocking, all right? Even when you're blocking oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in boxing, you're only taking a minimal amount of damage. You're not erasing the damage fully. So right. when you're in the street fight, and that glove becomes a That's small a fist yeah. and without the padding or any of the safety precautions that we take yeah. as boxers you are really taking serious damage not only to the face but to the wrist to any Everybody. part of the body yeah. that you're using the block with yeah. right yeah. so when you're fighting in a street fight think parry and slips they can't hurt what they can't hit so when you're blocking you only taking a little bit of the damage off but you can hurt other things without that protective yeah. gear right so that's one thing i want you guys to pay attention yeah. to and another thing street fights are not very long but i'm not going to say they're 30 seconds and you get into a three minute street fight right yeah. so be sure you breathe yeah. breathe don't hold your breath exerting yourself too much all right learn how to fight man. learn how to fight learn, how to, learn fight. how to think try to prioritize your actions and breathe because yeah. you're going to have to survive what they're bringing to the table as right. well as bring yours to the table. Yep. And I like like I'm gonna add I'm gonna add one thing to that too. Like he was saying, man. Um, you know, coming from an MMA 
background, I'm used to smaller gloves and stuff like that. And then I got into boxing, I started being like, well, damn, what I'm blocking here is not what I could block, you know, with, with MMA gloves on. There's no way, you know, bare knuckle BKFC is even even more, sm you know, you, even a four ounce to nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, like you said, a lot of parent. Also, I was gonna say a lot, a lot of elbow blocks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of elbow blocks. Yeah. Those type of things, man, especially with bare knuckles, and if guys' hands are not conditioned with that, hitting those elbows hurt like shit. Yeah. And the thing about it was, man, is that we were doing this shit back in juvenile correctional center. We didn't even know what we were doing, but we used to do that shit. And then that became a, a instinct, thing instinct, in BKFC, yeah. Yeah. where those were actually trained with Reggie Barnett. He was number one in the world. Um, I, I was part of two of his training camps. You know what I'm saying? Just being able to be able to throw those elbows to block those fists. When you're standing, you parrying out, you parrying out, boom, you blocking yeah. those you blocking those fists with those elbows. You know, you can't stand it like, you know, like you're boxing and stuff because, like I said, a lot of that stuff's not yeah. protected, man. They're coming around like different areas, It hurts. Man. I'd much rather hit you yeah. in the face than your elbow Damn, anytime. Right. Yeah. Oh, you hit that elbow harder, man. Oh, yeah. You're going to think twice about throwing another punch, man. Yeah, yeah. You might break a finger. Oh, break that shit. <laughs> but, like I said, when by any means necessary in yeah. the streets, man, be safe. Be safe, man. Be Avoid safe, the man. situation when you can. If you have to get somebody off of you, make it short and sweet and get out of there before anybody else becomes involved with you. That's it, man. Yeah. Man, that's what I say, man. And, uh, that's it. That's it. All right, y'all. Yeah. Mighty Maxwell Family YouTube. Y'all subscribe to the channels, man. We out here doing this for y'all, man. Peace. Peace.